friends, Dominique Sims and Alexis Atkins say the women are unforgettable and loved by all. I knew her since I was a toddler in elementary school, so that just tells you the longevity of just the, the bond that we've shared together and the relationship we had um, outside of work or church or any of that, you know, those different natures. So it's, it's definitely, um, yeah. It's definitely a relationship that I would definitely cherish. Miss Brown was from a generation that had a work ethic like none other. She would be here rain or shine. She pitched in wherever needed, whether it was reading a book or feeding the children or helping a child with homework after school. I don't know who or how we could ever fill her shoes. Eighty-three-year-old Jesse Brown, affectionately known as Miss Brown by friends and family, was a daycare worker at the Fantasy Island Child Care Center in Columbia, South Carolina, for more than 30 years. She had a passion for child care and was Fantasy Island's longest tenured employee. Miss Brown never sought to seek the limelight, but always made a difference, being considered a village leader within her Midlands community. At the Progressive Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, she was an icon, always giving, no matter the time, place, and no matter who you were. She was humble, thoughtful, loving, caring, and just had a sweet and loving personality, as well as a kind spirit, the type of person you couldn't help but get close to. She was often called a ball of energy, as she could always be seen running around the playground, keeping up with the children. She loved the children, the parents, many of whom she cared for when they were young and the staff. Most of all, she loved her granddaughter, whom she had a very close relationship with, 18-year-old Chanel Brown. They were like two peas in a pod. Whenever you saw one, you will always see the other. Chanel was just weeks away from her senior prom and graduating from Eau Claire High School, such a driven young woman with many goals in life. She was more like a daughter than a granddaughter to Miss Brown. Chanel was a popular and well-known student who was well-liked and so full of life. She left her mark with everyone she met. Chanel was also involved in several service and extracurricular activities. She assisted in the school counseling office and in the library and was a special assistant and mentee to the school social worker. She was also a member of the marching band's dance team and the Shamrockettes girls mentoring group. Around 5 p.m. on the evening of Thursday, May 5th, the Richland County Sheriff's Department responded to a home on Haverford Drive for reports of a domestic situation involving a weapon. Once inside, deputies would find the bodies of two women suffering from multiple stab wounds. Deputies found 18-year-old Chanel Brown and 83-year-old Mrs. Jessie Brown dead inside of a home off of Haverford Drive yesterday. Chanel was Jessie's granddaughter. Both 83-year-old Jessie Brown and her 18-year-old granddaughter Chanel Brown were pronounced dead on the scene. Two officers went to the front door where 44-year-old Raphael Brown, the son of Jesse Brown and the father of Chanel Brown, walked outside holding a knife. Brown was told to drop the knife and got on the ground. He was taken into custody at the scene and booked into the Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center. The community is in complete shock and mourning of the loss of two unforgettable and well-loved individuals whom they say had a tremendous impact on the community. Friends say that the women should be remembered not for how they died, but how they lived. A close friend says this is a tremendous loss for Fantasy Island, the children there, the Browns' place of worship, the progressive church of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the entire community. Chanel's principal as well as her school community were completely heartbroken. Chanel will be the third student the school lost this year. Ms. Brown was the type of person that you couldn't help but to get close to. She was always willing to help. It, it didn't matter who it was, where it was. She was always willing to help. Columbia Fire Chief Aubrey Jenkins says he went to church with 83-year-old Jesse Brown. She was a great mother figure um, to me. 
you know, because again, she was just that type of person. She was just, she was just humble in spirit. Richland County deputies say on Thursday, 44-year-old Raphael Brown killed his mother and his 18-year-old daughter, Chanel Brown. Chanel was a student at Eau Claire High School, set to graduate this month. Her grandmother, Jessie Brown, worked at Fantasy Island Daycare for more than 30 years. They were like two peas in a pod. So mm -hmm. if you see one, you would see the other. Um, so they definitely were very, very close. Um, and you could tell that, and you could tell yes. that they really cared about one another. I used to tease her and call her at uh, her age of 80 plus the Energizer Bunny because, you know, at 80 plus she never walked with any type of walking stick or other assistance. Um, she would be out on the playground running around with the kids like someone, you know, 20 or 30 years younger. Owner of the daycare, Ron Scott, says Ms. Brown touched everyone she met. A GoFundMe was created by the family to cover the unexpected funeral expenses. Richland County deputy said Raphael Brown is being charged with two counts of murder. A tremendous impact on children and parents. And that's the lasting impact that I want people to know that she lived, she made a difference. And some child's life is better and will be better because Jesse Brown crossed their path.